Hey, Trojan fans, Superintendent John Stevens here. Wanted to take a couple minutes as you are set to review uh, OHSA guidelines that Coach Moore has put together. Wanted to review a couple things for you and, and wanted you to hear it from me. First of all, I want to thank Coach Abby Moore, our new athletic director, who's been amazing this summer. And uh, in a summer of lots of change and lots of things going on, she's she's done a great job being organized and making sure that our student athletes are safe and able to play, uh, which is why I wanted to address things today. As many of you are aware, a lot of things have been going on. You're hearing lots of word from OHSAA, the state health department, the governor, who's making those decisions. Um, obviously, uh, uh, there are a lot of different things going on. I want to tell you the same thing I've told people throughout this summer is that a lot of times I get the information when you get the information, and we try to pass that along as, as quickly as possible and make some decisions when we need to. Um, I will tell you from our standpoint and from my standpoint and on behalf of the Board of Education, our goal is that our student athletes are going to play this fall and to the extent that's possible. So I say that because we've seen different conferences and different schools making some decisions around the states to shut down their seasons, uh, to change the format of their seasons. To the extent possible, our athletes are going to play. Now, understand that we are looking at uh, our local data, most importantly. And so while there's some federal data and state data and area data that has uh, a lot of different things to say, we're specifically looking at Dark County and looking at our area, and we're going to make decisions uh, based on that. Uh, now, with that said, uh, some, some of our conference teams are in different counties, Miami County. Um, as well. So we have to look at what that's going to be like. We want to get together as a conference, which we're doing this week, uh, and try to make some decisions so we're all on the same page. Uh, but number one, we're playing to the extent possible. I also want to note that there are mandates versus recommendations. Know that the recommendations we will review and then we will make local decisions on those recommendations. We want to make sure that our student athletes are safe, our coaches are safe, and our fans are safe. And again, to the extent possible, we'd like to have that local control and be able to make that decision. Now, with that said, there are some mandates. Some of those recommendations become mandates. Because we're an active member of the Ohio Athletic Association, we have to abide by any such mandates. Uh, while we're working with our health department, we may get recommendation mandates from our health department and also from our state governor. So know that uh, know that we're going to review recommendations and know that if it's a mandate, we're going to put things uh, in, in place and, and make local decisions when we can. Um, I also want to talk about uh, some of our other, our other goals. Conference-wise, we're hoping to play our full conference schedule. We're hoping to play our non-conference schedule. Again, as long as we can do that safely, we will do that. Um, talk about fan guidelines and expectations. So right now, we do have the, the mask order in place from the governor, and so we have some things in place for our student athletes and, our, and for our coaches. We'll continue to monitor that situation. Um, in, in the end, because we want our athletes to be able to play this fall, uh, we're going to figure out what that looks like uh, when it comes to showing up for a volleyball game for our fans and parents showing up for a football game. Um, in the end, uh, because we want our athletes to be able to play, if we need to wear a mask for the safety of our student athletes, and that means our, our boys can get out on the field to play and our girls can get out on the volleyball courts, that's, that's what we're going to do, and we ask that you do that. If we got to take temperatures as adults coming in, hey, we're going to do that because in the end we want our kids to play. So we hope you support us in those endeavors. Uh, again, we're going to try to make some decisions that are local decisions as much as possible, but I wanted to hear it from me that we, we are obligated, we feel like, to get our uh, student-athletes a uh, season this fall, and we're going to do everything uh, that we can. Do the recommendations as we can, follow the mandates, but get them out there and playing. So I'm excited for a fall season. Appreciate all of your support, and go Trojans.